Howdy folks, Max Moongreen reporting from beautiful and snowy Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It is Friday, January 3rd, 2014, and yet again, holidays in Jackson break records. Record skier visits, record dollars spent over the Christmas holiday and the new year. Uh, this is partly due to the fact that Ski Magazine gave Jackson the number one resort rating, but it's also because we've got snow. Uh, we're above average this winter, and uh, we've been enjoying it, enjoying a lot of snow, not really enjoying the incredible influx of visitors, however, and I think part of the reason we're so busy is because we're getting snow and other resorts, notably out in California, have been getting skunked. Now I'm not bragging, I'm not trying to like thumb my nose at Cali, you know, I want Cali to get snow. I want Cali's winters to be protected. I want to protect your winters and I want to help you protect your winters, but uh, I think we need to address all the factors contributing to the drought in California if we're really going to address this effectively and protect ski areas, ski town economies, and make sure the skiers coast to coast are having as much fun as possible skiing the softest, most blower snow as possible. Unfortunately, Cali's been getting skunked. Right now, today, Alpine Meadows, 19 inch base, Big Bear, 12, Kirkwood, 12, Mammoth, 18, Mount Shasta, 8. North Star Tahoe, 18, Snow Summit, 12, and Squaw Valley leading the pack with a 21-inch base. Unfortunately, they're only about 13% open terrain-wise, 13 of 30 lifts open, and currently it's 43 degrees at Mid-Mountain with no snow over the last seven days. So Cali's getting skunked. Jackson, we've got a 55-inch base, all lifts open, and 163 inches total. 24 degrees now, and it's snowing with snow forecast for the next three days. Okay, these trends are played out. You look at the drought monitor. I'll drop that image in here. Uh, big drought, Cali, Oregon, Nevada. And then I'll drop in the snow monitor here too. This is the snow base. You can see Cali, is just, there's hardly any snow on the ground anywhere in California. And like I said, I want to help Cali protect their winters. I want to protect your watersheds. I want to make sure Cali has got good snow. And I tried to do a winter in Cali a couple years ago and got skunked. It seems like Cali's been having hit or miss winters uh, since about the late 90s. And you know, the mainstream media, they blame it on climate change, they blame it on global warming, they blame it on El Nino, La Nina, all sorts of different things. But what's the real, what's the real cause of this, you know? I studied uh, media communication in school and one thing they really hammered home from day one is that you can't trust the mainstream media to tell the truth. So if the media is lying about other stuff all the time, why do so many people believe it on climate change, on climate issues, on weather issues? And one thing the media consistently overlooks, downplays, and neglects to even mention is the impact of aviation on weather and climate. Uh, a couple of years ago, three years ago, living out in Cali, I started to notice how shocking the skyscapes were in California because of all the airplane traffic. You got planes flying LA to San Fran to Seattle, uh, all up and down the seaboard continuously. And what I noticed was these planes were leaving these lingering trails that would spread and form a high cirrus haze, okay? This high cirrus haze, according to NASA and the scientific consensus, uh, all this stuff has been played out and studied for decades, these high cirrus clouds, uh, they stop sunlight from reaching Earth's surface, but overall they have a warming impact because a lot of the sunlight gets through but the heat radiating back out from Earth is trapped. So they have a warming impact, okay? This is gonna decrease snowfall just because it's warmer. Warmer air can hold more moisture. So if you've got all of this artificially induced cirrus cloud cover over the ocean, over the Bay Area, over the Sacramento Valley, and over the, uh, the Sierras, the air mass is going to be warmer as it rises up over the Sierras and you're gonna get less snowfall because it's artificially warmed by this cirrus layer. Another thing to consider is uh, most of the moisture that falls on the Sierras comes from the Pacific Ocean. And if you've got this high cirrus layer blocking sunlight over the ocean, you're gonna have decreased evaporation over the ocean as well because less sunlight's hitting the ocean. So the impact of these high cirrus clouds is very interesting. And almost every day when I was in Cali, I'd see these high cirrus hazes. I'd see planes flying overhead, leaving these big spreading trails. Uh, this high cirrus haze would form. And it, was, it felt unnaturally warm. It felt like you were in a greenhouse. 
it literally is the greenhouse effect. Uh, water vapor is the most powerful greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. And these planes, all this plane traffic, whether it's intentional or not, these planes are manipulating water's state in the atmosphere. And as NASA says, as the scientific consensus says, these high cirrus clouds have a greenhouse warming impact, they decrease precipitation, and again, that warm air mass, if it's artificially warm, it's gonna hold more moisture. As it goes over the Sierras, it's not gonna form into clouds and fall as snow because that artificially warmed air holds more moisture. Now, ironically, uh, all that moisture gets kicked up over the Sierras, continues, and we get it in the Tetons. So literally, we are stealing your snow. No, I'm not doing it. Uh, the local economy here is not doing it. It might not even be intentional. But it's interesting because some programs, stratospheric aerosol geoengineering solar radiation management programs, which have been proposed, uh, they're all over the news. Google News Search Geoengineering have come up with over 3,000 recent articles. Uh, some of these programs that are proposed look a lot like what we're seeing in the sky. Uh, it could be unintentional. It could be intentional. Maybe California's rain is intentionally being stolen. I don't know. But the impact, regardless of whether it's intentional or not, the impact of these persistent trails forming this high cirrus haze is indubitably significant. And I would argue a lot more significant than the gradual increase of CO2 over time. And the fact that it's never mentioned in the mainstream media is very interesting to me. And it's really funny, out in Tahoe, they're getting skunked. I feel bad for all the skiers. There's one group I don't feel bad for, and that's the willfully ignorant wannabe environmentalists at Protect Our Winters. Uh, Jeremy Jones' PR mouthpiece for the mainstream media's agenda on climate change, on global warming, on CO2 being the only factor of any importance in our changing climate, which is absurd and anti-scientific. So if you really want, you know, if you want to protect your winners, if you want to protect the economies of California ski towns, if you want powder days, if you want to ski bottomless blower every day, go touring, have good spring skiing in the Sierras, uh, don't support Protect Our Winners because they don't even address this issue. In my opinion, Protect Our Winners is just spewing that bro bra blah blah. And if you want a sticker, you want a sticker for your skis or snowboard, why don't you throw one of those on there? Message me, uh, sheepeater at tukadika.com, or get me on Facebook, Max Mugrin or The Sheep Eater, and I will send you one of these stickers for free to slap on your skis. Uh, because geoengineering, in my opinion, I think that these persistent jet trails are intentional. I think that these geoengineering programs that are proposed as a solution to climate change are actually already being used to change the climate. And I think that there's much more motivation to use these programs as a political tool, as a military tool, as a weapon of financial and weather warfare than there is to use them for the benefit of all of humanity and to save the planet. So again, leave your comments below, let me know what you think. You know, my basic theory, there's no speculation involved, it's basic observation of the natural world. Look at the sky, you'll see planes leaving these big billowing trails. These trails form a high cirrus haze, that high cirrus haze blocks sunlight, which prevents evaporation, but it also has a net greenhouse warming impact on the local climate, meaning the air masses below those cirrus clouds, where all the moisture that generally falls as precipitation exists, are unnaturally warmer than they would be otherwise, which inhibits rainfall, because warmer air masses can hold more moisture. That's my theory, I'd like to hear yours. Uh, here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, reporting for Off in the Sheep Eater. Once again, it's snowing. I'm going skiing. Y'all have a great day. One look. Peace.